Hi, I'm Shannon Aronson, your trusted real estate advisor in front of one of my listings in a very busy spring real estate market. And what most of you have probably heard is that we are back to the days of seeing multiple offers with most of our listings. We have many buyers who are needing to look at many properties and put in multiple offers in order to get the house of their dreams. So what I'd like to talk to you a little bit about is how to really set your offer apart if you're looking at buying a home so that it is appealing to sellers. There's a lot of, of little things that you can do. Ultimately, most of the time, of course, a seller will pick the highest offer. And so it's sometimes difficult for people to understand that they may need to bid sometimes significantly over the asking price, but you really need to view the asking price as nothing more than a marketing strategy and really assess for yourself, what is this house worth to me? What price will I pay, the highest price I can imagine, at if that if I get the house I'll be happy and if I don't get the house I'll say that's fine it was that's all it was worth to me so that's the first thing is figuring out the highest price that you can comfortably pay in a multiple offer situation after that you have to start to think about the fact that a realtor who's listing a house will be sitting down with her seller possibly with a stack of offers in some cases we're seeing four five six seven up a uh, number of offers so what can you do to set your offer apart number one you want to have a nice clean looking package. You want an offer that's typewritten and, and neat as a pen and easy to read. You'd like your realtor to write a, a cover letter summary page with the bullet points of your offer stating how much you're offering, how much you're putting down, and highlighting why you are a strong buyer. You definitely need to have very strong financials with the offer, which can mean a pre-approval letter from a very reputable company. In some cases, people also attach some sort of financial documentation showing that they can uh, easily access what's needed for the down payment. Additionally, putting at least 10% down, if not more, upfront money, which is a deposit that's due about 10 days after you make an offer, is essential. You'll want to promise to do a very fast inspection. The sellers will want to know that all inspection contingencies will be wrapped up quickly. If you're able to waive a mortgage contingency, that's going to give you a huge advantage over someone that's not able to do that. Lots of other things that we can do. A few other tricks up my sleeve that I've managed to help some people get offers through that I uh, will, will keep to myself until we can sit down and talk about how to help you. If you'd like to work with our team to help you get into your next great house, please give me a call. My number is 973-214-0691.